Welcome back to another video of Faceless and Fearless. We're checking out Cookie Clicker today, and if you haven't oversaw the artificial progress that I made, check out my previous episodes based on this game. But after recording the previous episodes, it left to a severe problem. I accidentally left the game running for an unnecessary period of time, but it could lead to advantages. Like, for example, on top of all of this stuff that I've been explaining, my ecstasy is rising at an all-time high because we've reached a new milestone, the shipment, and I managed to collect 2.9 billion cookies while I was away and 31 sugar lumps. I was at like one before, so this is a surprising amount, and I can also buy the sacrifices upgrade where temples are twice as efficient, and I figured that it was the perfect time to return back to this game, because there's a new update in town. Like, for example, this wizard tower is pretty retextured. Speaking of that, let's get a couple more of those. There we go. So let me just even out the values of all of these. Kirsters now cost 1.4 million. Grandmas cost 3.1 million. Farms cost 4.1 million. Mines cost 6.4 million. Factories, they cost 15 million. Banks cost 26 million. Temples cost 107 million. Wizard Towers cost 663 million and my main goal for this episode the shipment cost a mere 5.1 billion cookies i feel like cookies are turning into its own currency at this point anyways let's grab some of that fresh cursors and i've nearly got my second cursor wheel the whole planet is enjoying your cookies. Well, that's basically my goal achieved then. News. So I guess that's a thing now. Scientists comments on cookie particles now present in virtually all steel manufactured since cookie production ramped up worldwide. Well, since the whole planet's enjoying my cookies and it's basically 75% of their diet, my goal is to get the universe to be fed. Even the prehistoric aliens that might eventually you know, take a little nibble for themselves. And also, my personal favourite, lucky day. Golden cookies appear twice as often and stay twice as long. Oh hey, a four-leaf penny, which costs 777.778 .778 million. News, is our planet getting lighter? Experts examine the effects of intensive chocolate mining. Well, speaking of that, let me give you the grand tour on all of this. As you can see, these are my grandmas, like this one that's called Licking My Cookie, and this one that you can just barely see that's called Gusher. And then I've got my hideous row of farms, my hideous row of mines, which is kind of adjacent to each other in some sort of randomised way. I've got this mine, which is slightly further or closer to each other, just for a little more natural form and then I've got these banks which basically have the same deal as the mines and then I've got some temples which are weirdly the same distance away except for these ones because these ones are pretty adjacent and I've also got these wizard towers which have the same problem as the mines but now's not the time to be complaining because we don't want to miss tonight's interview of Faceless and Fearless by Blimmy Blalon. I have 30 sugar lumps, so I can upgrade all of these to level 1. Oh my god, what is that noise? I can view the garden now? That is insane. Why didn't I think of this earlier? I can view a lot of things, like the grimoire. I've got 6 conjure baked goods. Force the hand of fate, stretch time, spontaneous edifice, haggler's charm, summon crafty pixies, gambler's fever dream, resurrect abomination, and diminish ineptitude, however you say it. And I've got 10 out of 10. But the problem is you need a certain amount of sugar lumps. Alright, let's head on over to the garden. I've only got one seed so far. And the planting cost is 73 million, so let's go. Alright, I've currently planted a seed. I have no idea what to do with this. Oh, okay. Fertilizer. Click this to use the type of soil for your whole field. Should I do this? 
Well, I mean, there's no point in not doing it. Some of that amazing stuff, like butter, and we've got chocolate and nuts, and we've got salt. And by the way, those are cereals for some reason. And I can just buy all of these whenever I want. And we've got a value for real money, rather than just invading the entire currency system with cookies. Alright. I can spend 69 million on this. Yep, I sure do want to. Spend 28 on this. That should be good. Only 3 million on that. That's lame. And we can spend 21 million. And 101 million for the salt, surprisingly. Because that is popping off right now. So that can only mean one thing. People are having some severe problems with their stomach. Now let's close the stock market and view the Pantheon. Mm. Alright, look at all of this amazing stuff. How am I even supposed to buy this if I can't see the price? Okay, there's a diamond slot and we can drag a spirit onto this slot to assign it. Wait, could I just drag it like right here? Alright, let's see how good they are. Alright. They've got a very good CPS. Alright, let's just assign the first three. And let's assign- Oh my- <laughs> Oh my god, what is that noise? <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, I don't think I can assign it here. Wait, can I s assign more than one? Oh, nope, I really just can't, can I? Alright, let's close the Pantheon. Uh, let's also close the Grimoire. And now let's work to get in this shipment, after I get all of these interesting upgrades. And the game has been saved. Right, what happens if I add a different level to this? Will it just appear? Oh, it needs two sugar lumps this time. How convenient. Alright, I'm not sure what to spend my stuff on. I'm going to spend it on the grandmas, of course. The mines. And that's pretty much going to be all. So now we've got some extra details with one sugar lump to spare. And it will take nine hours to reach maturity. And I'm pretty sure 30 times nine is... Uh, actually, it says 20 hours to mature. But who cares? Anyways, now that we've got... Anyways, I figured out that 20 times 30 is 6,000 hours that I've been waiting. Now we've currently got a titanium mouse, which doesn't really look very titanium if you're looking at my screen, if you can even see the mouse. But it still brings a very valid advantage. But before we get onto that stuff, let's get some more of these shall we starting with a mine and then a farm another grandma for the road and a cursor you know for the past few episodes i've occasionally been zooming my screen out and seeing how far it is to get all the way so i can see everything oh my god it's still going and i'm at 50 percent zoom all right 33 percent and it finally calmed down I really want to make this more specific, but sadly, this is as specific as it can- Oh my god! The cookie is just so small, and this is so small I can barely even read it. Let me test to see what this says. Uh, I have bad eyesight, don't I? At least I can read this. The whole planet is enjoying your cookies. Well, I guess you don't need to tell me twice. The three secret heavenly upgrades now rely on how many times the relevant digit. Oh, golden cookie. Oh, there's a frenzy going on. Sorry. I don't know why I'm clicking an, at an unnecessary speed, but who cares? I need to get this lucky day thing. And I'm not going to stop until I'm there. And if I have some more time, I could get some more upgrades. Like maybe the milk chocolate cookies and the white chocolate ones because i'm gonna need a lot of golden cookies for this episode seeing as we've already mm, cleared half of the footage out of this just explaining all of these different levels that i've done you disgust me grandma anyways now that we're officially halfway into the timer 
button, being desperate to face all of those opportunities, and having a very severe arm ache. Let's wait until we get lucky day. Hopefully it won't take too long, because I get 262,000 cookies for every click, and I'm gradually clicking slow because of my suffering. Alright, come on, we're nearly there. Yes, lucky day. These absorb light so well, you almost need to squint to see them. And a white chocolate coated cookies, my personal favourite. Cookie production multiply plus 5%. These dazzling cookies absolutely glisten with flavour. Well, they sure do. And on that note, let's get another temple, another bank, another factory, another mine, another farm, another grandma and another cursor. It took me way too much effort to say that. And I feel like this rating is a little bit off because the difference between that is like 17 million and this is only 16 million so we need to make a change to that by adding a farm an extra grandma for the road and also we can't forget about our holy curses i feel like these are gonna become some sort of civilization soon Alright, news, pun in headline infuriates town, causes right, 21 wounded, 5 dead, and whatever on earth that says. But I really do need to work to get these cookies. And maybe I could wait a little while in between these this next episode and hopefully I can get an extra shipment for the road. Alright, let's see what other stuff we've got. We've got white chocolate cookies, 500 million. I'm going to wait until that happens. But first I need to look at all this stuff and figure out how to plant this stupid seed. Need. Alright, oh that's why the planting cost is 77 million. I guess I just need to wait until I get that much then. Alright. I love the clicking noises as I do this. Alright, come on, 77 million. I want it now. There we go. Now I can plant this. How do I still don't know how to plant it, do I? Okay, what if I just do this? Oh, how do I do it? I need to spend 10 million for the chocolate. I feel like that's affordable, right? And then I need to spend one times butter for 5 million. And then I need to get 63 million. And then I also need to get 8 million for this. And 184 million for that. And there's even a colour mode and line style as well. Uh, okay. <laughs> yeah, colour mode. Whoa, this is actually really cool. Should be my thumbnail, it should look like this. Kind of reminds me of a game I played recently called Little Alchemy. Mm, two. Since it was the second version, it didn't have that light theme on it. And let's view the Pantheon like we always do. Mm. And then let's view the Grimoire. So we got 17 out of 17 of these. And we got a golden cookie. Oh my gosh, my 51 mines is boosting my CPS. Look at all the CPS that I've got. Alright, come on, we need to get to that 500 million at least. Or I could just save up and get a pleasure of, of 5.1 billion. You know what, this is taking too long. I'm just going to get the Ultra Trima Drill as well, where mines are twice as efficient. Oh my gosh, that just boosted our cookie rate by quite a lot, didn't it? Alright, let's... I'm kind of curious to see how this goes if I just leave it here for a while. News, faceless and fearless, brand cookies, Lex toxic and competitors, says consumer survey. I'm kind of curious if I just leave this here for a while. And then I can work on it later. Well, I guess there's only one way to find out what happens if I just leave it here for the rest of my recording time. Okay, it turns out not a lot can happen, but we can get a decent amount of upgrades and I've just clicked a golden cookie as well. We're, we're nearly closing in at, eight, at 1 billion and I could afford a wizard tower for 663 million and quite a lot of other stuff as well. Like for example, I can get an increase in bank 
profits, where banks are twice as efficient for 700 million, you know what they say, better safe than sorry, or I could uh, increase my wealth by getting a new wizard tower. Boom. Now that I'm a cookie billionaire, I think it's a safe place to end the video off. Anyways, make sure to leave a like on this video, subscribe for more content, and also make sure to click the notification bell, it just takes three taps with your finger, or three clicks if you own a PC, or three button presses if you own a PS4 or other certain consoles, varying on the specifications. And also make sure to check out my other videos just here, one of them could be another cookie clicker video, but anyways, stay tuned for a new video and I'll see you next time.